John Long Silver Rails here. We're back at the HO layout. First, we want to show that we acquired a better power pack for our train layout. Tech 3 Power Command by MRC with the dual gauges. I really like it. It's very smooth. It's a wonderful little power pack. It's very large, however. This is an Athern boxcar. Give you a comparison of the size. It's so big that it wouldn't fit on my control panel. So I had to, I was able to get it on the end of the layout down here. It has direction, momentum, brake, and the two gauges. This is my nickel plate. PA2, I believe it's an Athern with a flywheel. We're going to remove it now because we're about to do an unboxing. This recently came in the mail. Two inexpensive AHM locomotives from eBay. The question is, will they run? And are they any good? We'll find out. I've been on an AHM River Rossi kick lately. Ever since I got that articulated mallet, which I showed in a previous video. Well, there's none of that popcorn peanut stuff in here. That's good. And it's very carefully packaged. Whoever packaged this certainly did a good job. Matter of fact, I should have kept my knife out to cut this tape with. This is not as sharp as that case knife. Like I said, they did a really good job packaging these locomotives. So if they got broken in shipping, it certainly won't be the eBayers' fault, that's for sure. This Chesapeake in Ohio. It might be an E8. I'm not sure. I forget what it's called. This is another nickel plate. I'm going to have to put couplers on it. It's another PA. Now, this is the Athern. This is the AHM. This makes it easy because the top wants to come off. I'll just take the top off. I see, unfortunately, one of the ladders is broken over here. There's the light bulb, there's the motor. Well, let's see if the chassis will run. it runs. Throttles down pretty nicely. I hit the brake and it stopped. Runs nice and slow. I'll have to see if I can do something about the broken ladder. Compare the two tops. 
the AHM with the Atherm. The, this is 182, this is 180. Like I said, I'm pretty sure this is an Atherm. It's funny that they have the headlight back here behind the motor on this little bracket. Definitely a River Rossi. This one has the old-fashioned NMRA coupler at this end. Now, these really, these couplers really were the, the standard back in the 50s, 60s, and 70s. Before the Katie's got so popular, there's really nothing wrong with them. People seem to like the Katie's better. And I think overall for scale operation, the Katie's probably are better. But if you collect the older vintage stuff and you want to keep it original, like this Tyco flat car, you're better off sticking with the traditional NMRA couplers. Well, it runs. Run too slow. There it goes. Probably just needs lubrication. It's stalled over there on that switch. It must be dirty track. Now what I'm going to do is turn on the momentum feature. It's got full power on momentum. If you look at the gauges, you can see the power range is slowly coming up on both voltage and attack voltage. Well, actually, so I turned the power off, but the train didn't stop because like I said, it's on momentum. It'll slowly stop now. It's probably going to stall on that switch again. There it is. All right, we will now put it in forward. We'll put it on full power. And there it goes. Somehow that traditional coupler seems to have coupled up with the KD coupler. I switch it on momentum. If I want to stop it quickly, I have to hit the brake. Even with the brake on, it takes its time slowing down. And I've let go of the brake, and there it goes again. Touch the power, but don't touch the brake. It continues around the layout. We'll see how far it goes. It looks like it goes almost a. It looks like it's going to do at least a full circle. It'll stop in less than half that time if I hit the brake. So it's down there in that quarter. I'm going to give it full power. Momentum's on. Slowly accelerates. Kind of noisy, it probably needs lubrication. With this quarter now, I hit the brake. 
so it did about a quarter of the layout to stop. Breaks off, it's going to start now. two circles before it stopped, whereas it only went about a quarter circle. Actually, it's going to do a two, two and a quarter circles. Whereas with the brake, it only did a little over a quarter of a circle when I hit the brake. That's what I like about this power pack. It's a lot of fun. I recommend it for everybody. Well, that's all for today, folks. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe if you did. Thank you.